On Saturday, we went to El Fuente de Fibeles, a famous salt in Madrid. When Real Madrid win all their trophies and cups, they celebrate there and the whole of Madrid celebrate with them. On the first day, we went to the Grand Palace. My goodness, it was grand. The King of Spain lives there currently. What a view. We did our first reading challenge and learned lots about the palace. I was so upset I wasn't invited back to tea. The first two nights we had dinner at Al Fresco. There was a massive choice and we had to order in Spanish. There was a choice of uh, patatas fritas, ensaladas y pollo. It was scrum diddly umptious. Que rico. At our first Madrid by night, we went to Solenia. It's the main shopping square in Madrid. When we got to speak some Spanish, we were both nervous and excited. We were shy at first, but we got used to it. My confidence is definitely growing. On Sunday morning, we went to El Rastro. It's a huge flea market. We couldn't believe our eyes. There were over 800 stalls. The girls couldn't contain themselves. I'm not even joking, we went to El Vista like that. <laughs> However, nobody spoke any English. We all had to speak Spanish. It was a great learning experience. Before the theme park, we flew over Madrid. It clearly wasn't flying, but it was a cable car. We got to see Madrid from above. It was awesome. Although me and Ben were scared, we were glad we did it. After the cable car, we walked through a park called El Campo. It was very beautiful and green. After that, we went into the theme park. The rides were massive. There was lots of beautiful fountains scattered about. The rides were really scary, but at the same time, they were really, really good fun. On Sunday night, we went to El Mercado de San Miguel. The colours were amazing. There was lots of Spanish food to try. But I didn't try the baby eels. But Mr. Michael bought the biggest chocolate chip I've ever seen. On Monday morning, we went to the Plaza de Mayor. It's the main square in Madrid. It's now filled with lots of lovely restaurants. But back in the day, there were markets, debates, and executions. And then it was time for a quiz. So we went to El Corte Inglés, the biggest department store in Madrid. The teachers had us running around the whole place doing challenges. And of course, using our Spanish. It was estupendo. We went to the bull ring and all I could see was wow. It's the biggest bull ring in Europe. Six bulls died every Sunday. Our master hasn't died since 1985. On Monday it was a big one. The one we've all been waiting for. It's where Real Madrid play. We went to the Bernabeu. It was estupendo. It was so technological, we could have stayed there all day. The girls were raging, they didn't see the Ronaldo. On Monday night we got the chance to get dressed up. And we do love that. We went to a lovely restaurant and tried lots of different types of tapas. I'm glad we all tried them all. They were surprisingly yummy. Then it was Madrid by night take three. After our tasty tapas, we had to interview people in Espanol. Our preparations the night before really built our confidence. And really enjoyed speaking to the locals. On the last day, we ended it with a band. We went for mango dancing. Well, obviously the girls were better than the boys. But at least they gave it a go. What fun. <laughs> Ole!
Ronaldo who? It was all about the shopping for us. Exhibit A. Nice hoodie. On the last day we got to spend all our euros. Sorry mum. But we've got lots of presents. As you can see we've had an action packed trip. I can't believe it's time to go home. We've had a fantastic experience. I can't believe how much Spanish we've spoken. We love Madrid! <laughs> My favourite part was the Bernabeu. My favourite part was speaking to the Spanish people. My favourite part was the shopping. My favourite part was the flea market. Our, Our favourite part, part of the trip was the, trip was the Bernabeu. Bernabeu. My favourite part of the trip was the flea market. My favourite part of the trip was the cable cars. My favourite part of the trip was the bill ring. My favourite part of the trip was going to the Solidaria. My favourite part of the trip was speaking to the Spanish people. My favourite part of the trip was the bill ring. Our favourite part of the trip was the burn about. My favourite part of the trip was flamenco dancing. My favourite part of the trip was the burn about. My favourite part of the trip was the tap passing me. Our favourite part of the trip was the burn about. My favourite part of the trip was the tap passing me.